We are going to be salvaging panels around Yella's asteroid belt and then selling our RMC directly to Grimhex. This is the first patch that I've ever tried to salvage and I quickly discovered that it's almost impossible to sell at a TDD terminal right now thanks to the duping situation we currently find ourselves in. So while Grimhex may pay less, 9 out of 10 times we can actually sell it there and then without having to wait around for 40 minutes hoping it comes back into demand. We also don't have to deal with any atmosphere flying like we would trying to go down to a city. We are going to be using the Drake Vulture. You can purchase your very own from New Deal on Lawville for 2.65 million credits. The only component that I have upgraded is the Quantum Drive to a Voyage. I'm also using a Braid Scrapers, I'll leave a link in the description to a website that will show you where you can find these items if you're interested in them. As for equipment, the essentials are a spacesuit, a helmet and a multi-tool with the tractor beam attachment. And since we're salvaging panels, there's no rep or money requirement either. I'll usually bring some armour, a backpack with supplies and a weapon as well. Start out by leaving Grimhex and Quantum jumping over to the Miner's Lament nearby. I like to head over to this point because there's a lot of activity around Grimhex and I will often find that the panels there have already been salvaged. We're going to want to stay in nav mode at first so we can cover as much ground as possible. We use V to enter scan mode and the scroll wheel to adjust our pierce. We use our tab key to send out a ping and we'll start to see unknown clusters. When we hover over them, we'll see that they have an RS signature. We're looking for clusters that can be divisible by 2000. Once we get within 5km of our chosen cluster, we're going to want to get back into SCM mode and begin to align ourselves with the markers that pop up. We're going to be aiming to get our signal as close to 100% as possible. You're going to want to send out pings as you're coming in to refresh the markers and start to ping a lot more once you reach 90% signal. Eventually you should see the panels appear. In my experience they don't always spawn at once and I'll often find that the rest have spawned around me as I'm salvaging that first one. We use M to enter salvage mode and left click to activate the lasers to start removing materials from the panel. If you've accidentally activated the tractor beams, right click will swap the modules for you. Press G to enter gimbal mode with the lasers. If you find your lasers are stationary, try pressing Z and using your free look. These curve panels will provide you the most amount of SCU, usually around 10. The triangular ones will be around 4 and the strips will be just under 1. Once the vulture's internal depot is full, head to the rear of the ship. Tick auto eject and then hit eject to start printing out RMC crates. Make sure the tractor beam is set to detachment and not traversal. This is because you can only lock in crates on the cargo grid when it's set to detachment. I've found I can squeeze a total of 25 SCU crates into the back of the vulture, 12 on the cargo bay itself and another 13 surrounding it. Some people find it easier to open the rear door and move crates that way while in space. Once the depot is empty we go back to salvaging panels until it's full again and then we start crafting more crates to fill up the rest of the cargo bay.
I like to leave these two cargo grids empty as I find it easier to fit the rest of the boxes in when using that space. If you need to press a button on the panel at some point, hold F and use your mouse wheel to zoom in. Once the cargo bay is full, we're going to head back up to the pilot seat and fill the Vulture's internal depot one more time. When we've filled the internal depot for the third and final time, we're going to head back over to Grimhex where we're going to sell. Remember that this is still Grimhex and people can attack you even in the hangars if the doors are open, so we want to try and get inside as soon as possible. Head into Grimhex and take the elevator to the main concourse. From there, head over to the admin office. This is where we'll be able to find the commodity terminals and sell our RMC. Once we've sold those first two loads, we're going to go back to the Vulture and start to print the rest of the SCU crates. If you find your multi-tool isn't working once you return to your Vulture, you can try unequipping it and then re-equipping it. If this doesn't work, try stirring the Vulture and then pulling it back out. Once we've finished making our crates, head back down to the admin office and sell for the final time. Since I'm doing this solo, my average time is around 45 minutes a run. How fast you can do it depends on how lucky you are with the amount of panels and the size of them. If we compare our ending cash and the amount we had just before selling, we can see that I made 476,945 credits. The response to my last video was a little crazy, so I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone for that. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe to help me out with that YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys out there in the verse.